All right, so welcome to the first episode of Cooking with Your Cairo. My name is Ray Infanti. I'm the owner of Cairo First Chiropractic and Physical Therapy. And the, the point of doing these is really to kind of show people that it's really not that difficult to kind of cook at home and to try to take some of the vegetables and fruits and things like that that might be in season and incorporate that into our diets instead of going and using processed foods or things that might be frozen. So today I, what I'm doing is I'm using asparagus. It's a spring vegetable that grows from April until June, give or take a bit, and we're going to be making some asparagus risotto. So asparagus is uh, full of, chock full of vitamins. Um, for example, it contains a uh, significant supply of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin K, as well as folic acid. Vitamin A is very important for the protection of the eyes and for our skin, and, and especially today in this environment, it helps strengthen your immunity. Vitamin C is very important for the, uh, the strengthening of capillaries as well as um, strengthening of collagen. Vitamin K is for bone formation and clotting and folic acid for women who are expecting. Um, it's important for the, uh, the growth of the fetus. One of the things that uh, I always tell people that they should do when they're cooking um, is make sure that you read through the recipe fully because, you know, there's nothing more frustrating than getting halfway through a recipe and looking at it and saying, okay, now put this in the fridge for four to six hours and you go, oh, well, looks like we're having pizza tonight, tonight for dinner. Then read through the recipe. So always make sure that you read fully through the recipe. The second thing that I like to do is I like to have everything set, everything in place. The French have a term for this, it's called mise en place. So there are a number of different ways that you can make asparagus, you can steam it. Um, I'm going to roast it today uh, with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt before I make the risotto. Okay, so I have my asparagus here ready to get roasted. I'm going to put these in the oven for 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Okay, so what I have done here is I have chopped up some scal uh, some shallots. Um, I love using shallots uh, in, in place of onions. I think they have a, a little bit of a sweeter taste. And I use a little pastry scooper here to kind of get everything in place. And we'll get that going. Okay, so I've kind of laid out here what we're going to be utilizing today. Um, I've already chopped up my shallot that I'm going to be sauteing in just a moment. Uh, we're going to be using one and a half cups of arroyo rice. We're going to be using a half cup of white wine. We're going to be using six cups of chicken stock. So a couple of tips. Number one with the wine, if, if it's not good enough to drink, don't cook with it. Um, as far as the chicken stock, um, I've got a little bit of bone broth here. It's probably going to make the spire, the result a little bit darker than a regular kind of chicken stock. Um, the other thing is that when you are making risotto, you want to uh, make sure that the broth is hot before you add it to the risotto. Otherwise, you're kind of defeating the purpose. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I've got the uh, asparagus in the oven roasting, I'm bringing my uh, chicken broth here up to temp, uh, six cups of chicken broth. Then I'm going to be adding a little bit of olive oil to this other stock pot here, getting it up to like a little bit of a sheen so it gets very shiny and then I'm gonna be adding the shallot to that to start to saute it. All right, so I have added uh, two tablespoons of olive oil to the stock pot, it's pretty hot already, so I'm gonna get started by adding the shallots. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just saute the shallots down until they become translucent. All right, so shallots, they look like they're pretty much cooked down. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add the arroyo rice. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that all of that olive oil coats the rice here. And we're going to cook that for about a minute because what we want to do is we want to toast it. It's going to help to kind of open up uh, the rice when we uh, start adding the broth. So you want to get that nice little toasting of it as much as you can. So I usually do that for about a minute or so. Okay, so the, uh, the rice is toasted now for about a minute. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to add a little bit of white wine, about a half a cup. just going to continue to stir this until all of the white wine evaporates. All right, so once the uh, wine has evaporated, now what we do is we start to add the broth. And I usually do just about a ladle or two at a time. 
So I might start off with about a half a cup to a cup the first time, and then from there, I am going in just ladlefuls from that point on until it's done. And that's really the whole point. It's, it's slow. It's the process. You've got to continually stir it until the rice is done. And, you know, the only way to know that is just to test it. Every test it every so often, it's going to take about a good 20 minutes of this. All right. So I've kind of put my last ladle full of risotto of uh, broth in here. Um, it's nice and creamy now. Uh, what you want is the risotto to get to the point where it is al dente, with in Italian means it's to the teeth, <clears throat> to the tooth. How do you know that? I always joke it's when my Italian ancestors kind of come down and tap me on the shoulder and say, okay, it's, it's good. <laughs> so you that, you're done. And then what we're going to do, and I didn't talk about this earlier, is we're going to add a cup of Parmesan cheese, which is, of course, the best cheese in the world, to this. I'm going to take this off the heat. I'm going to add the Parmesan to it, just like this. Kind of mix that all in there. Oh, boy. You can only smell this. Oh, my goodness. Really good right now. That just adds a whole other flavor profile. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the uh, the asparagus to it. And I've also got like a little bit of a lemon zest. I want I like lemon in there. I think it'll kind of brighten it up a little bit. And then I also um, squeeze a little bit of a lemon juice in there as well. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. Okay, so I'm just going to add the asparagus. Asparagus this is nice and cooked. And here we have the final product. Risotto with asparagus. Manja, bon appetit. Life is too short to eat bad food. Grazie.